This large composition represents a major example of the work of Antoine Bergeon, who enjoyed in his own lifetime the reputation as one of the premier flower painters of Lyon. A bouquet of flowers is displayed in a wicker basket on a marble table. The technical mastery of this highly detailed painting enables us to identify each variety of flower represented, ranging from roses, peonies, carnations, hollyhocks, tulips, ranculuses, sunflowers, hydrangeas, and poppies. The bouquet is not seasonal. Rather, the artist has sought to evoke an ideal floral arrangement that defies the laws of nature by comprising flowers of all seasons. The fruit, as well, evoke both different seasons and regions. However, Bergeon tempered the idealized effect of his composition by representing insects scattered over the leaves and on the surface of the fruit. He depicted these small intruders in such heightened detail that they literally appear to have momentarily alighted on the canvas. Bergeon managed, in this manner, to create a true sense of texture and of illusionary perfection in direct contradiction to the seasonal implausibility of this floral selection. This painting, shown at the Salon in Paris in 1810, is characteristic of Bergeon's style. The canvas was acquired by the museum for its flower salon, shortly after its exhibition indicated how famous the work already was. It was also the first flower painting to be acquired by the museum. The overall composition and the painter's rendering of details recalls northern European art of the 18th and 19th centuries by such artists Jan van Husson, a Dutch painter, whose work appears on the right of this gallery. Antoine Bergeon must have been familiar with these works, which already figured in the museum's collections in the early 19th century.